The Age of the Universe We know that our universe is getting bigger. So if we think of the past, that means in the past the universe was smaller. And if we extend that far enough back, at some point the universe had to have begun. So how long ago was it? How long was it when our universe began? Well, there's a couple things we can look at to figure this out. One of the things we can look at is Hubble's constant. Because Hubble's constant is basically telling us how fast the universe is expanding. And so if we know how fast it's expanding, and assuming we know how big it is, we can extrapolate from the value of Hubble's constant when did the expansion begin. So that's one way we can figure out the age of the universe. Another is by looking at things in our universe. And in particular, we can look at the oldest stars because we can measure how old the stars are. Well, the oldest stars that we can see are in the globular clusters. So these are first generation stars. And the oldest stars we see within our own, where did I get generals from? Hang on. Let's try that again. Generation. That's what I get when I try to talk and write at the same time. So when we look at uh, the stars within the globular clusters, these first generation stars, they are approximately 13 billion years old. So that constraint tells us the universe has to be older than that. Yeah, you can't have a universe younger than the things in our universe. So we know the universe has to be older than 13 billion years. The number that we currently hear the most is that our universe is about 13.7 billion years old. So that works with being older than the oldest stars. That comes partially from the value of Hubble's constant. And so by using those two constraints, we have narrowed the age down to something like 13.7 billion years old. Now astronomers are trying to fill in uh, the rest of the decimal places after that seven. But it's still, if you round to one place after the decimal, 13.7 does work. So that is roughly the age of our universe.